Be gone. Leave me be, whoever you is. Get away. And friendly man, I won't hurt you. Calm down. It's oh, over. Okay. So what happened here? Aye, it's over. All's past, never to be restored. I'll not forget that ever. What? Okay. Calm down and tell me Looking what happened. Looking for a man named Hendrik, supposed to live in this village. Aye, he did. No longer. They nabbed him in that hut. If you'd have heard the cries, sir. If you'd have heard how a man can scream. How he can suffer. Okay. Go ahead. Tell me what happened here, step by step. They took him. Took him all. The sun was waning, see. And the dusk went crimson like blood. Thought to myself strange. The toads. I cannot hear them. That's a miracle that you survived that, actually. Yep, that's the wild hand up, all right. They seem to be frozen themselves. I know not what happened there, save terror through and through. Hendrik screamed, then he begged. By the end, he could do naught but moan. So first they froze everything and then they set everything on fire. Okay. Uh-oh. Run away, woman! So that's the king of the wild hunt. His name is Eridin. Shit. Yeah, indeed. That was Geralt, that was not me. Weren't here long, the terrors. Yet the village froze like in the heart of winter. You in that hut when they rode off? No. And I'll not set foot there. Never. Farewell, and peace of mind to you. Peace of <laughs> mind. <laughs> Poor man. But I do wonder, they set the huts on fire, but they don't seem to be burned down. It does seem like a bit of an oversight. So let's check out Hendrik's hut. Well, he has seen better days. Let's loot his place. Platter. Don't need that. Here we go. Holy, that's a lot of blood. Tortured him. Maybe they missed something. Okay. So, check his pads, although it sounds a bit of creepy. Need to check his pockets. Trousers are stiff, as if hung out to dry midwinter. Okay, and that's because everything froze over, Geralt. Maybe hid something in his jerkin. Damn, he's cold as ice. Nothing here. Man, you search fast. So, in the boot. Should check his boots. Blood. Congealed. Key hidden in his boot. Oh. Okay. Gotta fit a keyhole. Somewhere nearby, hopefully. Okay. So what else do we have here? Aside from the thing with the platter. That's a giant bear skin of some sort. It's probably a hatch underneath there. There's a draft. Gotta be a space under this rubble. Guess I should do some cleaning. Don't be too excited about that, Geralt. Okay, open it up. 
Been locked, open. And then there's a ladder, I presume. Yeah, okay. Wow, it's a nice basement, actually. Vile. Oh. Tamara Stranger, daughter of the Bloody Baron, presumed kidnapped, hearty reward for whoever finds her or brings her in. So the Bloody Baron is the, well, self-pronounced leader of Valen for now, since the Nilf Guardians left him. What's this? Oh, interesting. Secrets upon secrets. Forgot about that. There seems to be something shiny. Okay. Doesn't seem to be interested in that. 109 crowns. Well, talking about a jackpot. I'm gonna check out what's in here. Looks like a book a or a journal or some kind of oh, ledger. Of grain. Amount due for a charcoal shipment. Hendrik was masquerading as a merchant. Hmm, what's this? Notes among the ledger entries. Clever. Okay, what can we make of that? Interesting headings. Missing and wanted. Missing and wanted. Subject appeared in Skellige. Also sighted in Novigrad. Appearance unchanged. Ashen hair. Scar on her face. Avoids contact with others. So the scar is still there. So it's talking about Siri since that was Hendrik's assignment to find her. So she was spotted in Skellige and in Novigrad. So that's in interesting. The drunken swine. Drunken swine. So-called Baron hosted subject at his castle, or should I say, illegally appropriated fort. Reason unknown. Talk to Baron at Crow's Perch. So that's that same bloody Baron, probably, and we need to go to Crow's Perch. So that will probably be our next directive. Clashed with a witch. Subject landed in swamp, encountered a witch. Conflict ensued. Cause unknown. Find the witch. Talk to the peasantry, village of Midcops. Ooh, that's also interesting. Caution advised. I'm being observed. Don't know by whom or why. Unsettling signs. Dog ran off. Water <laughs> in bucket froze solid. Strange glow observed in the sky. Ill omen, peasants say. Yeah, we know how that ended. So that's all. Somehow they learned Hendrik was looking for Siri. Thus the torture. I'm too late. My only leads, the Baron, and some witch. Damn. Okay. So that's changed to either blood, the Bloody Baron, and I'm gonna presume... Okay, 80 experience points. Does that hit me over? Or not? Oh, nine points shy of leveling. Okay, so I'm gonna presume I have one for the witch as well. And since the witch is level 5, I'm gonna start with that. Okay. Um, let's go up. So I wonder if there's anything left in the other shacks. So let's do some quick looting. This door is iced over. Better than nothing, I presume. Okay, let's go find that witch. Roach! Okay, don't let me wait, Roach. Hunting a witch. So since Geralt is quite familiar with a lot of witches, or uh, really uh, intimate, actually, with most of them, he... it's reasonable to assume that he knows the witch that we're, uh, we're looking for. Are those the four Slow guys down. from the inn? Yeah, they are. Funny. So I'm gonna presume that that is mid corpse. Yep, yeah, mid corpse marker added. So let's start our investigation. Maybe I should start with named characters. 
The armorer might know something. You ain't safe unless you got a Gabrielle. The auto crank one handed Gabrielle ensures you get the first shot and the last word. Okay then. Um. Oh, I can't even ask him to do that. So farewell then. <sighs> so long. That was a deep sigh. The peasants. Looking for the That's local here. witch. Look for her then. I know nothing. Hmm. Okay. That was uh, a bit harsh. Maybe her. Woman! Hmm. Okay. Maybe one over here. Okay. Can't talk to this fellow. Can't talk to this guy. Won't be as cocky once the Baron's mad and whip your arse. Why would they do that? Old woman. God bless you. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for that. Someone's coming. Oh. Keep your distance from the gossiping news. Oh. Okay. To find the witch now. Yeah, indeed. So that was handy. So apparently, the witch is making love potions. Oh, whoa, whoa, Jesus, be people! A large stone near the pond. They're freaking out because we're Quensong? Okay. That's creepy. Okay, so around the pond. And then the lone rock. I'm gonna presume that's the lone rock. And then round it There's the boulder. Now towards right. the forest. The cart. Okay. Holy fuck. Okay, that was a risk I was willing to take. So these... So that's one, two. God damn it. Okay, they do get knocked back by my shield. So I think there's one left. Oh, fuck you. Did he just come from underground? Ooh, knackers. Ooh, mutagens. Finally. There's another one here. So okay, it's the a cart. good. Which is hut is somewhere nearby. It's a good moment to uh, explain that a bit. So I don't even see. Oh yes, I can immediately make a blue mutagen with three lesser blue mutagens. So, craft that. And I'm going to show you in the character creation screen. If you add a blue mutagen, so normally it does plus seven percent sign intensity. But, because I have two magic skills equipped, that changes to 21% sign intensity, which is quite a buff, actually. So if I then take another skill in this tree, say for example the active shield, which is what I want, I'm gonna acquire it immediately, and then equip that over there as well, that actually becomes 28% sign intensity. Now, the blue mutagen is not uh, the final one in the sign branch you can choose, as you can actually make it into a greater blue mutagen eventually. But for now, that's quite a nice bonus. So as you can see, I here have the greater blue mutagen, but I need three 
normal blue mutagens to create that. So that's plus 10 sign plus 10 percent sign intensity, which would create plus 40 if I equip that. So now all my signs are roughly 30% stronger. And what this also has done, the, the ability I have chosen, is that I now can create a bubble shield, which holds as long as I have stamina for it and blocks the shots. So, it also heals me if I get hit by anything, so, uh, so this seems to be the witch's hut. Miss! Cows are wheezing, won't rise from the barn floor, pus streams from her snout. Do I look like a dairy maid to you? No, miss, but you know things. Tis our last cow, none other left in the village. Rest died of hunger, or soldiers let him off. Oh, we're as good as dead without her. I shall give you herbs. Mix them with water drawn from the spring at midnight, then make the cow drink them. But first, you must clean out your barn. Thoroughly. Is that clear? Thank you, miss. A thousand thanks. Enough. I've had my fill for the day. Go home. So clearly the woman with the biggest cleavage is the witch in this case. Or should I say, sorceress. So, uh, if she here... Huh. So, we found the witch, but she seems to have disappeared. But before we continue with that, I'm gonna take a little break. So, uh, in the next episode, we'll go find the witch wherever she has gone off to. So, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Goodbye! <laughs>